hello everyone today we are going to discuss a case study on diabetes so this uh, case study uh, with a patient uh, she is a 55 year old lady presents with the excessive thirst since four days she has bilateral knee pain and she has no other symptoms her height is 156 centimeter and the weight is 80 kg examination indicates a blood pressure of 120 80 millimeter mercury and the heart rate is 80 per minute there are no other uh, significant findings so after diagnosing uh, this one they have uh, taken a few uh, tests also in that one fasting blood sugar that is 142 milligram per deciliter and post brondal plasma glucose level is 258 milligram per deciliter hemoglobin it's 8.1 percentage so after uh, getting the test they have diagnosed that uh, that lady is having a type 2 diabetes with obesity her uh, body mass index is 32.87 so first uh, for this uh, management first they have given some diabetes awareness and the physicians prescribed uh, advised her uh, for diet uh, control that is reduced refined carbohydrate intake and reduce oil intake uh, consume at least two uh, servings of vegetables per day and physical activity because of the increased uh, blood sugar level they have asked her to reduce uh, all these things uh, such as a carbohydrate intake oil intake and they have uh, asked her to take at least two servings of vegetables per day and they have advised her to do physical activity regularly and walking 30 minutes per day for five days are equivalent Actually, uh, she has to walk a period of 30 minutes per day. In a week, she has to walk uh, 30 minutes per day uh, so, so that uh, the blood sugar level will be controlled. And uh, they have asked her to do yoga uh, or resistant exercise two days per week. At least, she has to do uh, yoga as well as resistant exercise two days per week. Uh, week and uh, the doctors have uh, prescribed her the tablet metformin 500 milligram twice uh, daily and uh, they have uh, screened for diabetes and related complications this patient has been recently diagnosed diabetes and obesity and diet and exercise uh, are given to reduce the weight that will be the first step so in order to control the diabetes diet is the important factor as well as she has to undergo uh, exercise she has to do some uh, small exercise uh, that will give uh, a control in uh, blood sugar level and they have started with the metformin uh, therapy this uh, metformin it is a bigonide that is uh, used for the treatment of diabetes mellitus and this metformin therapy is indicated to control the blood sugar level and as a diabetes is often uh, diagnosed after a delay routine uh, screening for both microvascular complications as well as and cardiovascular complications should be started at the time of diagnosis itself so uh, if they are uh, diagnosing this uh, diabetes after a delay so they have been asked to, for microvascular complications they have to screened they there may be possible uh, for uh, cardiac uh, problems so they have to check uh, screening of this microvascular complications and cardiovascular uh, complications so there is a possibility of heart attack 
and uh, cardiac failure will occur uh, for these uh, kind of patients so they uh, that uh, patient has been asked for screening of this microvascular complications as well as cardiovascular complications that should be started at the time of diagnosis itself diabetes mellitus is uh, is otherwise known as hyperglycemia uh, uh, this is uh, developed uh, no nowadays for uh, almost uh, 75% of the people suffered with this uh, diabetes uh, mellitus mm, so we have to give some uh, specific uh, preventive advice uh, for this uh, diabetes patients so do not skip the meals and take the tablets even during illness so you have to ask the diabetes patient that they have to take these medicines regularly and if they are having some other illness also they have to take this medicine and always take 15 to 40 gram of carbohydrate if the patient develops hypoglycemic symptoms okay then uh, so after taking the tablets uh, their blood sugar level will be uh, reduced so uh, you have to tell the patient uh, uh, if uh, they are having some hypoglycemic condition they have to take 15 to 40 gram of carbohydrate and uh, you should ask the patient to take their meals uh, regularly and uh, during uh, severe uh, illness we have to check their uh, blood glucose level constantly and uh, if there is any kind of vomiting or reduced intake uh, for any reason for more than 12 hours immediately we have to contact the or consult the uh, doctor if uh, hypoglycemic symptoms do not disappear with oral glucose at that time also we have to consult the particular uh, doctor or physician I hope uh, you could understand the uh, severity of this uh, diabetes. Uh, so uh, prevention is better than cure. If we are uh, having uh, this kind of problem, we have to consult the uh, physician immediately and we have to take the medicine of this uh, for this uh, diabetes um, mellitus. I hope you could understand this uh, case delivery of diabetes mellitus. See you soon. Thank you.